Hey, how you doing, social media friends and family? It's your man, Johnny the Hammer Higgins, <clears throat> here. Happy Friday. Hey, look, today I'm going to teach you guys number five, which is the left uppercut in the number sequence. So just for a recap, I already taught you how to throw a jab, which was the number one. I taught you how to throw a straight right, which was the number two. I taught you how to throw a left hook, which was the number three. I taught you how to throw a right uppercut, which was the number four. Uh, or it can also be a right hook, depending upon what number sequence you're learning from. It can also be a right hook. A five could also be a, I'm sorry, a four could also be a right hook. But today, I'm going to teach you a left uppercut, which is the number five in the punch sequence, all right? Okay, so just to recap a little bit, we just gonna go through some of the basics that we already learned, starting with the jab. Remember when you jab, you wanna step. You wanna keep that right hand up by the chin. You wanna protect your left jaw and you wanna step with the punch, all right? Pushing off your back foot, stepping with your front foot and punching with your left arm at the same time, all right? So then we're gonna add that two. When you throw that straight right, you wanna bend that left leg for balance, pivot your right foot, Turn the core, shoulder up, elbow up, and punch with the, with the punching knuckles, all right? So that's how you want to do You want to make sure you turn that core and have that front foot planted for balance, all right? Then we went to the number three. The number three was the left hook. When you threw the left hook, you want to turn slightly, all right? Get that elbow up, 90 degrees, 45 degrees on the arm, and punch with the punching knuckles. Turn the core, all right? Okay? And when we did the number four, we, we drop that hand down to your hip, right above your hip, and pivot your back foot, turning the core on the hip, all right? So today, we're gonna do the left uppercut, all right, which is the number five in the sequence. And when you do the left uppercut, what you wanna do, you wanna bend your knees slightly, all right? Make sure they get in my feet, sweetie. I got it. You wanna bend your knees slightly, all right? You're still in your boxing stance. Remember that 45 degree angle, okay? You wanna uh, uh, drop that left elbow down around uh, your hip area, okay? And what you wanna do, you wanna push your knee and your hip forward at the same time while you lift up on it, okay? So this is how I teach how to throw the left uppercut, okay? So you wanna be planted for balance and power, all right? And lift that. That, that left up elbow up. So you not want to hit, you don't want to hit him with the elbow, but you want to make sure you're pushing through the lat so you can lift that elbow up nice and strong, all right? So that's how a left uppercut will look, okay? So now some people will teach you to pivot the left uppercut like they will teach you to pivot the left hook. So uh, another way to do that left uppercut is, is, is like this. So. From here, you will shift your weight to your back leg for balance. You will come up on the left toe, all right, with that right hand up, always by that chin, and you will lift it up and pivot through the foot and through the hip, like so. So that's how you would throw a left uppercut, right? But I'm teaching you the hammer's way, so remember, the hammer's way would be with that left leg planted, and you want to push through the hip and push the knee forward and push through the hip, all right? And it's gonna generate more power. And remember, hammer boxing is all about hitting people hard, throwing hard shots, and making good fights, all right? So now what I wanna do, guys, I wanna teach you how to throw the five from the southpaw position, which will be a right uppercut, as opposed to a left uppercut from an orthodox or conventional stance, all right? So if you were a southpaw, it would be the same mechanics, 45 degree angle, uh, knee slightly bent for balance. And what you want to do, you want to push the knee and the hip forward and lift up. You see how my hip moving? That's how, that's how you're going to generate that power. Lift up on it. Give you another angle so you can see it. Lean slightly for distance and lift it up. And lift it up from that hip, all right? If you were going to pivot, it would be like so. So now your, your weight is on your back leg when you do the pivot. And that back foot will be planted for balance, all right? So now what I want to do, guys, 
I just want to put some uh, put some punches together for you, some combinations. All right, got those hands up, working that jab. One, two, back on that jab. One, two, three, back on that jab. One, two, three, four, back on that jab. Jabbing both ways, going forward, going backwards. Good. Side to side. One, four, back on that jab. One, four, three, back on that jab. All right? Now I'm going to add that five in there. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And lift up on that left uppercut. One, two, three, four, five. You see how my hands always come back? One, two, three, four, five. Back on that jab. Good. Now this one, it gets a little tricky, right? But not really, because remember I told you, certain people teach us that a right uppercut is six, okay? But I'm from the old school, so I teach that a right uppercut is four, okay? So you already learned the six and the four, depending upon which school of boxing you come from, okay? So now we're going to do a six punch combination with all six punches. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six okay but if you were uh, from the newer generation of boxing which is it may be a little simpler because it's easier to remember it would be one two three four five six and I'm sure some of you said that makes more sense because you know follow a left hook it will be a right hook follow the left uppercut it will be a right uppercut okay so don't ask me who invented the numbers I don't know this, the latter does seem to be a little bit better, but I, again, I'm from the old school, all right? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put some six punch combinations for you, making sure I use all my punches, okay? So we're going to start back with the basic. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go to the regular. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back on that jab. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back on that jab. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back on that jab. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two. Good. So remember combination, you mix them up. You don't always got to do the same things. So that would be a one, two, five. One, two, five. Back on that jab. One, two, five. Back on that jab. One, two, five, two. One, two, five, two. Back on that jab. One, two, five, two, three. Back on that jab. Good. Two, five, two. Back on that jab. Keeping that right hand up by that chin. Get that left hand back up. Protecting that jaw. Protecting that temple. That's what I like to call a check. I'm checking to see if I'm protecting myself. That's what I call it, checking. So you can mix those punches up. So you see that's a one, five. Back on that jab. One, five, three, two. Back on that jab. One, four, five. Back on that jab. One, four, five, six. Back on that jab. Get a little head movement there. So you can mix those with that left hand up. One, five, three. One, three, five. You can mix it up. You can put a five and a six together. You know, that's... A good combination because it's kind of hard to defend against 
One, two. After left uppercut, they not thinking the right hook coming. So that's what you want to do with combinations. And when you're fighting and punching, you want to use the element of surprise. All right? And you want to be a moving target. Because a moving target is the hardest target. Keep them hands up. Is I have to drop them when you're away from your opponent. But once you're close, you want to have them hands up so you can defend against punches. Good. All right, let me get a water break, guys. Any thoughts or questions so far? Cool. So now what I want to do, guys, since I've taught you all five punches and I demonstrated some combinations from the orthodox or conventional stance, I want to demonstrate some five punch combinations, five, six punch combinations from the southpaw stance, all right? So starting with that one, we jab him. Side to side. Make sure we step. Stepping forward, stepping backwards. We'll add that too. Good. Keep them hands up. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you turn them hips. That's where the power coming from. See how them hips turning? That's where the power coming from. Get them hands back up. Little head movement. We'll get into the head movement tomorrow. Monday. A little bit more defense on our next program. <clears throat> but you want to make sure you keep your hands up, elbows in to protect the body. Keep that jab working. Turn that body on them straight punches. Snap on the punches. So these are your main six punches to the head. Your main basic six punches to the head. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are your main six punches to the head. Move around a little bit. Anytime you see me drop my hands, that's because I'm out of punching range. Whenever I'm close, got them hands up. So I would defend against punches. Some of the things you see me doing with my hands, those are old tricks, you know. So the longer you box, you don't always have to punch with the clenched fist. Most of the time fighters, they fight with their knuckles slightly open because we're focusing on punching with those punching knuckles. So clubbing fighters, they fight with real tight hands and 
swing real hard, clubbing fighters. But bo most boxers, they had their hands kind of loose. Hit me with that back, back up. Good, good. All right, so just to recap what we learned today, guys. We learned the five, which was a left uppercut, all right? Now, remember when you throw that left uppercut, the hammer's way, you want to keep that foot planted, that left leg planted, bend the knee slightly, push through the knee, and the hip lifting up the torso with your punching knuckles. Lift that elbow up. See my whole body moving. See, you punch with your whole body. It's not an arm punch. You're not doing like this, that's an arm punch. Anytime the arm goes wild, that's an arm punch. But when you use your whole body, your whole body gonna move together. You see that hook, that whole body moving together. The hip, the back, the shoulder, the fist, the elbow, everything moving together. When you throwing the left uppercut, the same thing. Everything moves together, one motion. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, everything move together. So if you were southpaw, same thing. Push that knee and that hip forward and lift it up. Lift the hip up. Once you push it, lift it up. Lift up your torso. Boom, boom, everything move together. Everything move together. That's how you get hard shots. So if you're gonna pivot it, if you're gonna pivot, remember that back foot has to be planted for balance. And then you pivot that front foot and lift it up. So that's how you would do that. All right? Hey, look guys. This is my first week doing this. This is day five. We only went over offense this week. We only went over the main six punches, all right? Main six head shots, all right? So as we go on, we're gonna get into other punches, body shots, we're gonna get into overhands, we're gonna get into head movement, slipping, rolling, ducking, catching, and a lot of other things, all right? Again, I have a lot of knowledge up here but I want to give it to you incrementally so you can digest it, all right? Hey, look, it's been great. Uh, happy Friday to you guys. Say it out loud, my love. Make sure they like, share, comment. Hey, guys, make sure you like, share, comment. Hey, I need you guys. I can't do this alone, all right? What I'm trying to do is build a social media platform that's going to help me build my gym. You all know that I'm owner of Hammer Fitness and Boxing. Uh... Hey, and I love what I do. So if you're getting any type of benefits from it, if you're learning anything, if you're enjoying it at all, then please share it, right? So, cause we wanna uh, uh, have more, more as mo the most awareness that we can, all right, here at Hammer Fitness and Boxing. Hey, again, happy Friday to you guys. Uh, I would say happy Good Friday for all of my believers out there, all right? We all know that today is Good Friday. Uh, for those who do believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But if you're not a believer, then hey, then happy Friday. That's all good too, all right? So again, thank you guys, and, and I appreciate you. That's all I have. Hammer, and I'm out. Follow on YouTube. Feel free to follow me on YouTube at Hammer Fitness and Boxing. Uh, you can follow me on social media at Hammer Fitness and Boxing Instagram, or you can follow my, my personal page, which is Johnny underscore Higgins underscore Boxing, all right? And again, I'm Johnny Higgins Jr., uh, owner and founder of Hammer Fitness and Boxing. Thanks. Peace out.